Yeah, well, thank you very much, Steve. You'll be pleased to hear I'm not about to give you a tutorial on law. Uh, my close colleagues will be particularly relieved to hear that. Um, but I did just want to give you a few words from your sponsor. Um, <clears throat> so thank you very much, firstly, for everyone coming and joining us today. We're really genuinely very pleased to be the sponsor today, and I think especially given the focus of today's discussions uh, and following yesterday's celebration of International Women's Day, a day now marked, of course, annually to celebrate women's achievement, to raise awareness against bias and to take action uh, for equality. So at Moron, we believe in creating an inclusive workplace for our people, and we know that diversity of thought and perspectives will ensure that we provide the best possible service to our clients. Uh, but I'm really proud to be a member of our inclusion steering group. And since becoming involved in that group, I've learned a lot about why it's important for inclusion to be a priority for organizations like ours. And I've learned about the part that I have to play in ensuring ours is an inclusive workplace where people feel they belong and they can fulfill their potential. And learning about and understanding the part I can play in inclusion hasn't always been immediately obvious to me. It hasn't always been comfortable to talk about. I've had to make conscious effort to consider my privilege and to understand what that means from an inclusion perspective, the advantages it may have given me throughout my life and how I can now use it to be an active ally to underrepresented and marginalized groups in our workplace. And when I talk about privilege, uh, I'm talking, for example, about the fact that I'm a white, non-disabled, heterosexual man from a middle-class background. I went to fee-paying school. It's important for all of us to stop and consider our privilege. You know, we, we may not realize we have it. And there's power, I think, in acknowledging it and in helping uh, by using it to make meaningful change in our workplaces. One of, the, one of our goals at Murrah is to have an authentically diverse and inclusive workforce at all levels, which includes having diverse representation across our leadership and including specifically gender diversity. I think we all have a responsibility and a role to play in putting an inclusion lens on the language we use, the behaviors we exhibit, and the decisions we make. And I'm really pleased that Kate is going to help us to understand some practical steps we can all take on that front after leaving this room today. So remember, inclusion doesn't just happen, it takes purposeful action, and I think we really can all play a part in that. So thanks again, and enjoy the lunch. Thank you.